What's up guys, James Mitchell, and I'm going to be starting a new tutorial series here where I'm going through every single effect that After Effects and possibly Premiere Pro has to offer. So there'll be short tutorials mostly, and it's just going to dive in so that way you guys can understand every single effect that Adobe has put into these programs for us to offer. So with that said, let's jump into our first effect in After Effects which is radio waves. All right guys, so we are here to teach you about radio waves in After Effects, how you can use it for multiple applications. And for my instance, we are gonna be doing heat waves with a hot air balloon engine spewing fire. Pretty cool, you can use it with pond ripples, bullets, anything you can think of. So let's get into it. You have your clip, right click, new, solid layer make sure it's black we'll call this radio waves composition size is good hit ok let's come over and shorten this clip up by hitting control shift D and make it the same size roughly I'm kind of LCD so after you have that let's come up and search for radio waves and apply it to this clip here so Right away, you can see that this clip, which I will not make the bottom one visible, it has emanating waves, and we can move this point where it emanates the waves from. So, it also has that. We have frequency, which is the amount of times or the number of waves it's going to produce in a certain period of time. So, the higher the frequency, the more waves. We'll put that at like three. You have the expansion, which is how far out the waves are going to go. We'll probably go 15 here. You have the lifespan, which we will go maybe 6 seconds, so they slowly fade out. Reflection is they are going to bounce off boundary layers or layers that you can create. For my instance right now, it's just going to be the outline of the screen here, but you can mess with that using some other layers. Our profile square, we're going to change the waves to white here because our effect relies on luminance. We are going to start with, put this big, so we'll go 50. End with, we'll go maybe 20. And the reason is I just wanna make it pretty evident on what these waves are doing in my clip, even if it doesn't look realistic at first. So as you can see, they start off big and they slowly get smaller here. So you can also mess around with the orientation, direction, you can speed it up, slow it down, spin, stuff like that. Birth is what we're going to be using, which pretty much means that whenever you change where these are emanating from, it kind of squishes the waves in if you start moving it around, like by keying it. Where if you put each frame, it's going to stay symmetric no matter where you move the starting point of the waves from. And it'll be more evident here in a little bit. But keep it at birth, we'll call it good. Come down, right click, new solid layer, put this as mask here. Make sure it's black and same composition size. So now we got our layers here. We can cut this one down if you so feel, which I do feel. And then next what we are going to do is we are then going to hide the sorry not the radio is we're gonna hide the mask here and we're going to want to mask out where we think the radio waves are so I guess first what you could do is come to radio waves and you can change where this point is going to emanate from whoopsies so why wow. yep here we go we're going to change and make this point where the waves start forming right here so now obviously the waves wouldn't be really coming much over here too hard. So what we're going to do is come to our mask layer, which is turned off at the moment, come up to pen and kind of draw out where you think the waves would emanate. So I would think that would be it. We're going to turn on our mask layer and then we are going to have to invert the mask layer. So come down, invert it, bam, that's what's going to show through here. So next thing you're going to want to do is apply a Gaussian blur. So we'll come down, Gaussian blur, radio waves, and let's say we make the blurriest 50 here. So that way it doesn't look as harsh, it looks more realistic. You could probably even bump it up if you really wanted to, maybe 60 or something. It just helps the uh, waves blend in here. 
as you can tell like that all right so after we have that what we are going to do is take these two layers and pre-compose them. You can call it waves if you like. Now we have them pre-composed. Right click new adjustment layer because now what we're gonna do is we're going to make this adjustment layer displace based off the waves. So put it in between your two clips, come up, search for displacement map, if I can spell correctly here apply it to adjustment layer we're going to change the layer to waves here and then now it's displacing it based off red and green channels but we're going to change that to luminance and luminance so now it still doesn't look like much you're like what's going on all you have to do is then uncheck the C in I on the waves here and you should be good to go so let's see what this looks like and if you can really see the waves warping so you can kind of see them, it's, it's pretty tough, that's why I wanted to make it big. So what we're gonna do is come back to adjustment layer, we're gonna bump up the horizontal displacement to something pretty outrageous, just because I want you guys to see how much this is actually displacing and that it is working. So now you can really see how much it's warping in here. And we will play that. And now you can really see the waves emanating out. So if you so desire, you can always come back in, come to radio waves, and you can animate the production, or the, yeah, producer point. Maybe come here and maybe just change it a little bit. Let's go maybe back this way or something. So then as over time, it kind of moves out. And as you can see, because of the birth, it is squishing the waves as it moves to where if it was each frame, it wouldn't squish the waves. So this isn't as apparent, but you can see right in here that the waves are getting squished. So that's what birth rate does. And then you can always obviously move your mask if you so desire, but that is the tutorial guys. So some things to take away here is that not only with waves, but I've kind of shown you a little bit on displacement map layer, which I can go into at a later time but you can pretty much displace your clip off of any other clip that may be, that you have white, for instance. I mean, if you had a truck, uh, a driving truck that you uh, changed to black and white and you made the truck all white, you could have the truck drive by and it would displace this clip based off of the luminance of the, of the top clip, which would be your truck. So the, the possibilities are endless here and I just, encourage you guys to think about maybe what you can use with these waves and with the displacement map layer. So if you guys like that tutorial, please like, please comment, please subscribe, and stay tuned for the next short tutorial on some effect. It's gonna be random, but it's gonna be a cool effect in After Effects. See you guys next time.